we present Sketch to Anim, a novel approach for transferring sketch storyboards into 3D animation. Sketch storyboarding is widely used by designers and animators for creating 3D animations. Traditional animation from storyboards is tedious and time-consuming, even when done by expert animators. Given one frame of a simplified storyboard with a sketch pose, joint trajectories, and an action word, the animator will first imagine the desired key pose sequence. Then, these key poses are imported into Blender as references. The animators manually place the predefined 3D joints to match the key poses while crafting the desired motion to align with the trajectory and action word. After a lengthy trial and error process, a high quality animation is produced. Automated methods that translate 2D sketch storyboards into 3D animations are highly demanded. In this work, we propose the first automatic framework, dubbed Sketch 2 Anim, for directly translating from 2D sketch storyboards to 3D animation. Note that the pink color indicates the generated key pose corresponding to the sketch pose, and the green curve shows the generated trajectory corresponding to the sketch trajectory. We use this color scheme for key pose and trajectory visualization in the paper and in this video. Here are four frames of a storyboard as in the teaser figure in the main paper. For each frame, our method first independently translates it into its 3D animation. And all the animation clips are finally blended into a complete and coherent animation that brings the storyboard to life. For vivid visualization, we retarget the generated motion to Michelle from Mixmo. Technically, inspired by the significant advancements of motion generation, we propose to solve this problem from the perspective of conditional motion generation. Our framework consists of two core modules. The first module is a multi-conditional motion generator built upon a motion diffusion model. It consumes 3D key poses and trajectories as conditions for motion synthesis, since they contain more precise motion cues. The second module builds shared embedding spaces to align the 2D and 3D key poses and trajectories. Thanks to the shared embedding spaces, at inference time, we can directly input 2D key poses and trajectories to obtain the corresponding 3D motions. We have developed a user interface as a Blender add-on that allows the user to draw the key pose and joint trajectories. We use Sketch 2 Pose to detect the 2D joints from the character strokes and trace the trajectory points. Our method generates its high-quality motion conforming to the sketch input in around 0.5 second. Here are more storyboard translation examples. For instance, this storyboard contains four frames from wave to kneel. Our resulting animation clips are shown here. This is the composed full animation. Note that the key pose can be placed not only in the first frame, but also in the last frame, for example, the action sit. Here is the full animation. Here is another example. and its full animation. We have compared our method to a few baselines. Given this punch storyboard, motion retrieval method can obtain a motion in high realism, but the punching hand is wrong and it fails to conform to the sketch pose and trajectory. Both the key pose and trajectory of lift and control method are wrong due to the inaccuracy of lifting 2 to 3D. Direct 2D to motion method produces the worst motion because of the considerable domain gap between 2D sketches and 3D animations. Our result outperforms all competitors. The animation is of high quality in terms of motion realism, control accuracy, and text motion matching. Another example is shown here with similar observations.
Here are more examples. Pay attention to either the key pose or the trajectory deviation. Our approach is not limited to handling stick figure style storyboards. For example, given a real world sketch storyboard, we first extract joints and trajectory points. Then our framework successfully generates an animation clip. Note that we manually model the indoor scene with a table for better visualization. As a byproduct, our framework inherently supports 3D motion editing. Suppose users are unsatisfied with the height of the jumping since it might collide with the table. Users can simply drag and place a few 3D trajectory points in our interface, as shown by the purple points. Thanks to the technical design of our motion generator, without any modification, our 3D conditional motion generator can naturally take the updated trajectory points as new conditions, so as to update the resulting motion accordingly. Thanks for watching.